Hello, I'm Mark Eccles from Apogee Google Cloud. Welcome to the Edge Micro Gateway module in Apogee Troubleshooting Series. In this module, we will give you a quick introduction to TLS setup in Edge Micro Gateway. We'll demonstrate how to configure one-way and two-way TLS in the upcoming videos. Later on, we will also cover authorization in the Edge Micro Gateway, and we'll also show you how to troubleshoot some common issues with the Edge Micro Gateway. In this video, we'll provide an overview of TLS and its importance, introduce TLS in Edge Micro Gateway, and demonstrate how to configure northbound one-way TLS. TLS, or Transport Layer Security, is a cryptographic protocol that protects your information in transit by encrypting it. TLS ensures that the information is securely transferred over the network and protects against issues such as eavesdropping or man-in-the-middle attacks, tampering of data, and message forgery. TLS, in a nutshell, uses certificates and asymmetric encryption. As you might know, authentication is an integral part for preventing message forgery between two actors. Certificates are the documents that are used for authenticating and providing the identity of the actors involved in the communication. Asymmetric encryption, which is also referred to as public and private key encryption, basically uses a pair of public and private keys for encryption and decryption. Typically, if the data is encrypted by using a private key on one side, then it will be decrypted using public key on either side, or vice versa. There are two types of TLS, one-way and two-way. In one-way TLS, the server proves its identity to the client. In two-way TLS, the server and the client respectively prove their identities to each other. In this video, we'll focus on one-way TLS, and two-way TLS will be covered in later videos. In a typical Edge Micro Gateway architecture, we have four actors, the client, the Micro Gateway itself, Apogee Edge, and the target server. In many cases, all actors would communicate with each other over an internet or intranet connection, which may not be trusted. By default, Edge Micro Gateway will talk to Apogee Edge over TLS. However, the incoming connection between the client application and Edge Micro Gateway, which is also known as northbound, and the outgoing connection, that is between Edge Micro Gateway and target server, which is also known as southbound, are non-secure by default. We need to follow certain steps to enable a one-way or two-way TLS for each of these connections. Before we look at how to enable one-way TLS in Edge Micro Gateway, let's try to understand how does one-way TLS work in Edge Micro Gateway. First of all, when a client sends a connection using HTTPS, it will send a client hello message to the Micro Gateway. This message includes the protocol that needs to be used for communication and cipher suites supported by the client. The TLS server micro gateway validates if it supports the protocol specified by the client and chooses one of the cipher suite algorithms from the list given by the client, which will be used for all further communication. As you may know, any TLS server will have a public certificate and a private key. The certificate includes the public key, information about the identity of its owner, and the digital signature of the certificate authority that has issued the certificate. The server sends its certificate as a response to the client in the server hello message. When the public cert is presented to the client, the client will decide whether it trusts the certificate. This involves verifying the certificate's start and end date, its common name, and signing certificate's authority. All major operating systems have a system trust store which contains a long list of trusted CAs. If the server certificate is self-signed or signed by an internal CA, then the client needs to add the cert to its own trust store. In the end, if the client is satisfied with the server's public certificate, it begins the key exchange process. The private key is used in the key exchange process, and as its name suggests, 
it must be kept confidential, since this is where the server proves it owns the public key. When the process is completed, the client and the server may begin to exchange messages over HTTPS. Let's now look at the steps involved in setting up one-way TLS on the Edge Micro Gateway. First and foremost, we need to obtain a signed certificate, ideally one that's signed by a trusted CA. To do this, you will first generate a private key and then generate a certificate signing request, or CSR. This CSR will then need to be sent to a certificate authority for signing the actual public key. You can also self-sign the certificate for test and development environments, but it is recommended to use CA signed certificates in production environments. There is a link in the description of this video on how to achieve that. Once the certificate and private key are prepared, the second step is to update the Edge Micro YAML configuration file for the desired organization and environment. The certificate and key must be on the file system in PEM format so that we can reference them from the Micro Gateway config. And finally, we will reload the Edge Micro Gateway server. I will now demonstrate how to configure what we have just described. For demo purposes, I prepared a certificate and private key earlier. They are already on my file system and they are in PEM format. Now let me modify the Edge Micro YAML configuration file for the organization and environment that I would like to enable TLS for. This can be found in the .edge micro directory under your home directory. First of all, I will add the SSL option one level under Edge Micro. Next, I will provide the fully qualified file path to the key and certificate files. Since my private key doesn't have a passphrase, I will omit the passphrase option. I will apply the secure protocol option to enforce TLS 1.2 connections and prevent old protocols such as SSL v3 or TLS versions 1.0 and 1.1. Oh, and it's worth mentioning that the default port for Micro Gateway is 8000. Since we are enabling TLS, Let's set this to the standard port for HTTPS, which is 443. Now I will reload the Edge Micro server so that it can pick up the new SSL and port configuration. All right, it seems that everything went well. Let's try sending a request over HTTPS using Postman. In the Postman request, I have set the URL scheme to HTTPS and port to 443. Great. We now have a secure connection between the client and Edge Micro Gateway. Check out the links in the description for our online documentation and to the Apogee community where you can post any questions or feedback you might have. Thank you and stay tuned for the next video where we will cover two-way TLS between the client and Edge Micro Gateway.